Welcome back everyone. This is Kurt Schweiger Jr. and I have some awesome Mark Twain collectibles here that I have in my private collection that they're not for sale but I thought you guys might want to know a little bit more about this Mark Twain and Mark Twain's collectibles. I have been doing Mark Twain videos recently. I was up to the college to see the study and the exhibit and I actually did a paranormal investigation there at his grave site up there at Woodlawn Cemetery so but I have some more collectibles here that I have here which are pretty awesome collectibles and I have a very cool vintage Mark Twain postcard which now this has one of his famous quotes on it and it says, truth is the most valuable thing we have. Let us economize it. From following the equator, copyright 18, 1897. And it's a vintage postcard. It's something I picked up man I tell you it's old and it's got a photo of Mark Twain on there a really nice photo of him vintage postcard but I want to talk about this uh, this guy here and his name was Dale Jansen And he wrote this book here called called Mark Twain Walking America Again. And it's a really cool book. It's uh, Dale Jensen Walking America Again. Yes, Mark Twain is walking around America again. He is strolling down the sidewalks in Hannibal. Missouri, his old hometown, he is striding across the campus of the University of Missouri where he once received an honorary degree. His tales spring up a hill of the quarry farm in Elmira, New York where many of his books were written. He is stepping over the gangway of George M. Murray Riverboat Museum at Keokuk, Iowa and his brother Orion's home. He is climbing the stairs of his Hartford, Connecticut home, and now the Mark Twain Memorial. He is opening the door of the Mark Twain Library in Reading, Connecticut, and his name is Dale Jansen. And that was in the back in the 80s. It's a pretty cool book. Dale Jansen has lived in Missouri most of his life after completing a BS degree in business and marketing at University of Missouri Columbia. He engaged in research and marketing followed by becoming a transportation law practitioner while successfully defending needed rail service in western Iowa. So pretty cool guy here. Some of his accomplishments. There he is, Dale Jansen. It's not Mark Twain, but he has a lot of, he looks a lot like him, but he kept Mark Twain's memory alive back in the 80s. I do believe he's buried up in Elmira Cemetery. These are all signed things that I have of him. But this is the book he wrote. And it goes through his career and it is a cool book. I picked that up. 
along with a lot of sign things of his. And the title of the book is Mark Twain Walking America Again. Really awesome. And I got some signed things and a postcard from of him. And here he is in Missouri. And that's a postcard of him. Pretty cool. Here's a signed postcard of him. It's pretty cool. It's up <clears throat> all signed by Dale Jansen. Here's a letter of him that I got in my collectibles here where it says it's the Rural, Rural Small Church Ministries in Paris, Missouri a workshop of storytelling Mark Twain style used as the nucleus my father Mark Twain by Clara Clemens would we be interested or could we generate some interest this is I think from Mark Twain's daughter Clara Clemens so I think she was gonna get, do a book and work with Dale Jansen and this is a letter so it's a pretty cool collectible and I just wanted to show you guys some of these collectibles they're pretty awesome I don't know I just happened to get a hold of them and this postcard here is dated one sixteen eighty eight. So that's when he was doing this in eighty eight. And I I do believe he's buried up there in Woodlawn Cemetery, Dale Jansen. But he is a part of Mark Twain's history. And I just wanted to show you these uh sign things in his book, Mark Twain Walking America again but I do remember some comments and stuff back in the 80s where people thought they saw Mark Twain and they didn't see Mark Twain they saw Dale Jansen so it's cool very collectible it's part of my private collection I will never get rid of them but if you like my videos please like and subscribe to keep me going guys I need you guys' comments I need to hear what you guys want to see I've been doing videos, you know, paranormal investigations. I've been doing collectibles videos here for quite a while now. And you guys have been watching. I've got at least 50 to 60,000 people who have watched my videos. That's a lot. So please like and subscribe. If you will, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you like these Mark Twain collectibles. I had to do this, put this video out because I've been doing a lot on Mark Twain lately. And I plan on doing a little bit more in the future. So. Check my videos out, like and subscribe, keep those comments coming because I read them all whether they're good or they're bad. And this is Kurt Schweiger Jr. for CDSB Ghost Chaser and XFL Fan Schweiger's Den and I have other stuff in the works so stay tuned guys.